is here from the zoo. <sighs> Harriet Jack. Yay! From Harriet Chester Zoo. Zoo. Hi, Harriet. Hi, He's a white rhino. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever been sitting in the sun? Yeah, of course I have. I'm, I'm He's anemic. He's anemic. One of them rare grey ones. <laughs> got, got a shed, have we? <laughs> what? Sorry, sauna. <laughs> it's upstairs, this one. <laughs> What's up there? Oh, Hi, Michael. Hello, guys. Hi, Michael. Hey, I'm Mickey, man. <laughs> um, and we're obviously, you guys have been together as, as players before Danny and Nicky, but we're going to sort of focus on that that first season with them, 16, 17. I think, Matt, I'm right in saying you were the first of the players probably to meet the Cowleys, weren't you? Because they made a, an effort to come and see you over in, in Staffordshire. Yeah, if you need the long journey to Stoke, the wonderful... Uh, <laughs> Wonderful place to the country as farms knows, and uh, <laughs> I, think that, I, I think they enjoyed it. To be fair, I think they wanted to move up this way. Stoke wasn't Louis, an option, so they came blew up. the two days <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, a couple of days off here and there, is your daddy? And what was your impressions of when you met them? Yeah, it was good. Uh, to be fair, I had my uh, mindset on leaving. To be fair, um, but uh, I spoke to them, and they gave me a few days off here and there when I needed them, and. A few. Assigned, a few. He was part few. time. <laughs> <laughs> Just do enough, he said. And what about the other guys? When did you? Do you remember when you first met them? Was it all as a team together? No, um, we had our individual meetings, didn't we? In the boxes. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, they sort of brought us in one by one and just explained what they wanted. Um, they they told us they who, to who, They told us name three players you'd keep and three players you'd get rid of. Oh, oh yeah, I remember, remember that, that as well. well. Unfortunately, two of them are in the group chats. <laughs> <laughs> what, let go of? <laughs> oh, mate. Three were in mine. One of them was supposed to be here today, but he's not turned up. Alan Power. <laughs> Alan Power. He's still brushing his, still brushing his teeth, mate. <laughs> this morning. Got bigger Been brushing them since 8.30. He's becoming a local hero up there, you know, yeah. But no, um, yeah, no, he is since he's left. That's not hard, mate. It's probably about as big as my guard in that place. <laughs> <laughs> well, I imagine pre season was pretty intense, though. Very, very. I think, where did we go away? Did we go? Where did no, we go? No, nowhere with the cowl. First one you did. The first one, year, we didn't go nowhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it was the first it, year, it was just the RAF with the barracks place, wasn't it? Did we go to yeah. the fire, fireplace as well? Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah, we, we went, went to the fireplace, fire yeah. We didn't Climbing go anywhere, it. we just... That was my first pre-season where it was like, it actually just wasn't like a groundhog. Everything no, was like yeah, short and short. The yeah. only thing was as well, Dan could run, man. So if you was oh, behind yeah. Dan in pre-season, you're struggling. Uh, I, remember I remember Jack. I remember his Jack running style running was like Paul Radcliffe. Yeah. Jack and Dan <laughs> was just running together. I remember oh, yeah, Ward in that square run with him. He, he, I just seen, I just seen... Uh, Jack and uh, Dan was Danny at the front with his pocket out the side of his short and Jack was just holding on with that little tea bag. <laughs> like, like him in prison, bro. <laughs> tea bag. <laughs> tea bag. <laughs> but no, it's it feel really different from previous years, even at the start. Uh, I think it was just, it was just, yeah, it was, mm, yeah, it was prop, like structural. more structured. It wasn't like, um, more like fatigue and runs. It was a lot of like all injury prevention stuff, I think, for the mm. boys. And a lot yeah. of short and sharper and sprints are the way that they wanted us to play that year. Uh, to be fair, the keepers were still playing catch, so that yeah. didn't change much, did Catch, it? Touch, <laughs> volleyball. Yeah, so. Jimmy had a good deal, didn't he? Freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> you got a brand new car, wrote it off in the first day, hit about six <laughs> peasants on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Lost his license, but didn't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> what about that first game away at Woking? I think Matt, you scored twice, if I remember yeah. rightly. I seen um, a clip actually the other day. Jack, I think Jack had a shot, but he went across the goal. <laughs> 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 and uh, I sort of towed it in with the left foot, which was very rare. So it was a collector's yeah. item, I think. <laughs> Cheers for that, Jack. No worries, mate. <laughs> I think uh, Ma- uh, Mazza scored the first, didn't he? Yeah, Mazza. Yeah, Mazza. Yeah, Mazza. That's, um, you down. put. I think. I think it was a free that- kick on the um, half an hour. I just banged it on your your top of your bond here, the white bit. <laughs> yeah, solar it panel on the solar panel. So. That's when solar uh, panel. T- Taylor Miles broke his foot that day, didn't he? Leg on it. Yeah, that's right. He never played. After. Yeah. 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 Good player. Yeah, three one, Monty didn't end. I think. 
Yeah, yeah that's right. Jack, and, Jack and, Black, their the guy scored, didn't he? Off corner. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And, I didn't know where he went. Was it, was, it actually, was it actually his man as well? I think yeah, so. I didn't no, want to think it was his man. Oh, man, I, 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 remember, I remember in the changing room after I, I think he stood on the halfway line after that for the rest of the season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. And first nine games, seven wins. I'm guessing at that stage you were starting to think this could be a bit of a different season. I think I think at the start we didn't um we didn't like batter anyone. I think we were drawn a lot in like scraping one nils, and I think we played Ferriby at home and I, what was it six, six one? one six uh, one yeah. then that was ever, the third game since, wasn't it second third yeah. game it was just we, played, we, we could tell we it was coming Sutton, on we were going to batter someone then obviously we uh, Ferriby we played yeah. Sutton there didn't we and then we uh, I think we drew yeah, Sutton yeah got sent off didn't he? Dude, we, we drew it a lot yeah. lost to Sutton lost to Sutton at home yeah Sam Abigail scored from a cross yeah a cross it, yeah. Yeah. yeah I remember that game now you guys, but the, the game where I thought um, it might be a bit of a different season, um, if I remember rightly, Terry crossed the ball, Matt headed it home. Uh, Talkie. Like, Talkie. Guilty. Talkie was, felt a big game that day. Guilty. Yeah, yeah. I think that's where pre-season came in, 94th minute, doing a full-length sprint. Six <laughs> 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 stitches in the head. Don't worry about Aww. it. Uh, no, uh, yeah, definitely. I think it was one of the games where... At the end of the season, you look back and think, yeah, it was a good win, last minute winners. Yeah. 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 The best, yeah. And actually, you had a lot of last minute winners, didn't you, in the, in the whole yeah. season? Yeah. I think, I think that's maybe like where we, we were maybe fitter like, than most teams that year because we scored obviously a lot of late goals. Loads of late a goals. Lot, a lot fair. of late goals. Forest Green yeah. was. Forest Green said, went like too long after it, was it? The Sam Abigail's free kick against. Oh, Talking at home. That's it. That, that, right, when, when you watch Mad. that goal back from behind the goal, man, wow. That was some <laughs> game. Yeah. Some game that. You know, that uh, obviously, that. was late goals. Yeah. Gates Gates as well. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about that again, Matt. That, no, um, <laughs> that Gates had game. Some Everyone just looked up, absolutely gone, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Well, can you remember? Mate, we were it? terrible. We were we terrible that last games. month. If, if you watch it back, there'd be Sunday league games that are better than that. <laughs> yeah. uh, the pitch didn't help. <laughs> yeah, but that's not really an excuse. We, we didn't use the, the pitch. That's why to be fair, that, we, <laughs> we, we were terrible we that month. Yeah, we didn't play, we didn't play well for a while. What was the one where you got the winner, Jack, away? Solly all. Solly all away, Tuesday night. Fear Robinson. Robbins. decided to leave us, didn't he? Hey, yeah, Jack was not supposed to play. Fear, was it Fear? And then Fear just left, didn't turn up, didn't he? I had a Chinese yeah. the night before. And then, and then Jack, Jack, Jack was like told me and I'll play start. and scored the winner. That's what baby rhinos eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fear the did. special did. at the Zoom. <laughs> Talking of cows, where is he? He's not invited. He's never been a big fish. Yeah, I, I, I thought the, Here's Jack. There was the, I, I, Jack got a couple of goals in this game and Matt certainly scored as well away at Chester. Chester, Chester yeah. From behind, oh. if I remember rightly, to win the game. Hey, one of the goals was decent. Jack and Jack, I think Jack played it to Reedy. Reedy slid him back in. Jack sort yeah, of just see. lifted it over. I think Reedy had four assists in a goal then. Or was it two goals <laughs> and three assists? No, because yeah, he loved the yeah, keeper. Yeah. I think that was the game that Theo was trying to uh, claim that goal, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's oh. in the face. I didn't see any back too far. Yeah, that was a good game, that. We, we batted. What was it? What was it? 4-3? Four, three. Four, Did Raggett five, score three. as well? 5-2. Five, 5-2. Two. Five, two. Oh, God. Yeah. I didn't know. Carnage. Five, yeah, it was a good day. Close Great to him as well. So it was else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so was me and you on the bench that game? Huh? Was me and you on the bench that game? Again? I probably was, yeah. I, I think, think you came on the second half, Jack. Yeah, yeah I think your goal, Jack. Your goal, you're running from the left-hand side all the way across the pitch. I was like holding that man off. <laughs> <laughs> he was running in treacle. <laughs> and then a couple of games later was probably the best game of the season for the fans um, away at Forest Green. Uh, was, oh, yeah. it, was it the same for you as players? Did it feel really important? Yeah, I think um, when, Woodyard, when we scored the first Woodyard, I, I just thought we was always going to win the game then. You can yeah. sort of see they went. I think if Alex Woodyard ever scores, you've got to win, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, you've got to, <laughs> just, like, yeah. yeah, it's not fair. And then Luke, obviously, Luke scored, obviously, the volley. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's... the I think that was because it was against them as well. Because we turned the result round, I think it killed yeah. them as well. Like, they were just gone. I mean, we were, really both both to... the managers, uh, like and coaches, were always at it both games. Yeah. Like, we started hitting that it, was like, deeper, didn't we? All of a sudden, I think um, if they won that, would they have gone like twelve points clear or something big like that? On it? it was yeah. yeah we closed, like we closed the gap, wasn't it? And that's when everyone was saying like, yeah. oh, it's a big turning point in the season because yeah. if they won, it was on. T- was it on TV? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 and I think it, everyone was saying if they if they win now they they're going to run away with the league and that. Then obviously Rags done that Titanic speech after. Yeah. Were you aware yeah. at the side of the pitch how confident their manager was at two 0 Because I know a lot of Lincoln fans were getting wound up by yeah. Because I was, uh, he was giving. I was on the bench that day, so uh, um, and it, that that's just how Coops is. Like yeah. sort of yeah, scarf that that, guy. Isn't he? It a big one. yeah, scarf and that, and then when we. Um, then after after the end, you could just see like he was he was gone. Didn't really say anything to storm think, to sort of storm. To be off, fair, you know? the way we played as well, Denny, which obviously yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they were good. They were a good team. We we that yeah. season we were just their bogey team. We just always seemed yeah. to. Yeah, I think they went. We always turned did, did they on, go? Didn't did they go one up against us at home as well? I think didn't they? Yeah. Because Alan Power tried to turn on the edge of the eighteen and got yeah, they yeah. got took off him and they went and scored Doidge, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was good. Yes. Yeah, that was good. Good player. Yeah, they, they were your rivals, and yet you beat them six times on the spin. Oh, um, that's what I mean. We were the bo- like we obviously played well, but we just seemed to be the bogey team for them. Yeah, we played them loads. They, they, they show we couldn't handle the physicality, could they? Like especially when Lee Angle played as well in the second. Yeah, year, they just couldn't handle how physical we were. We had yeah. obviously rags and Luke that year. And step pieces was massive for us, so. Yeah, because yeah, Leango scored the first in here. I think one of their players went down holding his face from an elbow. If I remember. Yeah, they used to yeah. hate how we used to get a, one, a striker, uh, Theo at a time, or Jack or whoever was playing, just go mark the keeper so they couldn't play. If they were under pressure, couldn't pass it back yeah. to the keeper either. Yeah, we did. So yeah, I, forgot about that. Yeah. I wonder how many set pieces we scored, by the way. Huh? But is this, <laughs> the stat man Michael will know that. How many set how many pieces, set pieces we got that season? Oh, God, I can't remember. How well, <laughs> many did Luke and Rex score? <laughs> oh, that was quite a few. Um, what 22. about um, Danny and Nicky? Did they make much of? Did you? Could you tell they didn't like um, Cooper? Was it something that was ever discussed before games or after games? No, I think obviously yeah. we, they were just rivals, weren't we? We were both top of the league. I think that was part of it. And then we also knew that he hated our style of football and uh, the overweight players that we've got, which didn't help. So. I think it's always had a bit oh, of yeah. to the I, I think Dan and Nick just wanted to win every game, no matter who it was. That yeah. was just that. That's just them, isn't it? And mm-hmm. it was so tight on it when we were chasing them at the top. It was just touch and go all the time when we were second, top, third, and then obviously back end of the season, all of the more big games. I mean, you're the players that basically brought the fans back to the club. Um, and I would have said the Oldham game in the cup was perhaps the first time I looked at it and thought, Blimey, there's a few more people coming to these games. Was that the same for you as as, as players? Is that, is that the sort of period when you started noticing the stands were a lot fuller than they'd been? To be fair, that night, I remember that night on it. That was a big game because remember the second half? Remember that fog? Yeah. Oh, See, man. You could you could thing. Jesus, <laughs> mate. I was play- all I could see was there to be 18 your box. I would have been better, like, because I wouldn't have come for anything, but... No, nah, I, th- I think it was we like obviously stalled it out that night, and obviously with it being a Tuesday night and under the lights as well, mm. it was even like a bigger thing. And that was that was on TV again, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Last, last ten minutes, they uh, stepped it up again, didn't they? As well. Was it three two? Yeah. They scored two goals. Three, two, yeah, yeah, they scored two. Oh, last, last Wait, last Jamie, Jamie, Jamie McCoon played. Oh, yeah, he played. Oh yeah, that's right. He had his diving boots on in the channels. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I actually yeah. think I, I didn't think he did that bad that I thought he did all right. Yeah, 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 yeah he done well. Yeah. I thought first <laughs> off he was class, obviously, and when they scored and then I obviously scored mm. again, it's a bit of pressure, but mm. anyway, I just that just summed us up that year when we they scored there, well, obviously we were three 0 up, they scored two goals and we still we managed just to hold yeah. on and just see it out. I think we did the lot of stuff like in training like uh seen a bit test. Um the bits where a lot of like scenarios really and stuff like that, two okay. nil down, one nil down. We yeah. did a lot of that in training, so like five sides and that. If we were winning, they were telling you to go into the corner and that instead of just going to try and get as many goals. <laughs> <laughs> I should ask Paul, how many times did you go down injured in the season? 
None, I think. All legit injuries. <laughs> Never had, a problem, had a problem with me uh, six hernias and my groins that year. Every game. Boy, didn't, uh, didn't you have every the hernias? Um, every Did you game have the hernias that year? Yeah, no, it was me and Paul went the year before, didn't we? Yeah, me and Reedy went there. Uh, me and Reedy got put to sleep together holding hands. Like, Tom sent me in like, first just swimming. in case it didn't go well. And then he <laughs> <again> had <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mate, what was that all about? I will shit. And then, obviously, with the cup, bright um, Ipswich away. Another amazing day. Did you feel at the end of it you might have had your chance? Because you obviously were ahead twice in the game. I what think was at that the one, time. What yeah. was the one player? That one player, um, Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah, he was just. I think our plan was it because he was flying for them at the time. And Ipswich yeah. weren't doing that well. And basically, our plan was to try and stop him. Yeah, that it, was it. That day we didn't because he scored when two, two. When it went to two one, though, I remember just saying, "Like, don't lose the game. Take him back to Lincoln." I always fancied us like at Lincoln. To be fair, at home. Mm. It's mad we came off the pitch like gutted that we we had, we hadn't won really because yeah, we yeah, so well. yeah. it was wasn't it we were absolutely yeah. fuming weren't we? But then through the next week or whatever we were like we've two come at their place we did really well we should have beat them at our place full crowd like it was. Yeah. We always got a chance like we we knew we we backed ourselves against anyone to be fair. Especially with the duo. Can... <laughs> Go on. The Rhino and the Reed. Who's screaming? Cup partnership. Lola. Lola. Ted wants to meet Lola, boy. Nah, she doesn't like them. <laughs> I'm sure the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like them. Um, you mentioned, um, obviously, Ipswich and Lawrence in the, in the replay. It was the, actually a free kick for a foul on him. Yeah, it was. That, uh, and it was his free kick. It was his delivery, wasn't it? He did yeah. beat Alan. But what a ball by Mario. Yeah. Oh, man. That's what I mean. That, we had... You go back to like certain, like just big moments in games where, like the likes we had to to, to bring on Maz and that, and just, like big moments where we could yeah. make big big chances, and then the we, we've done, we've done it again. He's a, we, he's... Have, we, we had like a good eleven, like we did really well first the season before with Moisey in charge, but we didn't have like the squad behind it. Death, the, yeah. the, the second season, to, we yeah. had players who could come on and make a massive difference. We had like four 17, 18 year olds, didn't we? That obviously yeah. they were good at their age, but it just it's the difference, isn't it, between winning and losing leagues and stuff, I think. Moisey like, signed us all, didn't it? Moisey signed us all, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much everyone. Yeah. Halifax, too, aren't you? Yeah. Those his players, doesn't he? <coughs> Rockstar. Rockstar. <laughs> we. Pemsky. Ah, Rockstar. How's your sauna? <laughs> All right, got a shit in the back. <laughs> got a few. Up there, Are you boy. in your sauna, Paul? Yeah. From time to time, I do like to sit in this and this. Just put a bit this, of water uh, degrees. On the yeah. <laughs> Emily, just stick a bit of water on that coal for me. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stick there? <laughs> and, that, and that goal um, against it, I don't know about you, but sometimes goals feel like they're in slow motion, and that sort of. Five ten seconds. I can always picture the the whole goal, and you, don't do that for many goals. But it just felt just a huge moment, probably the biggest moment apart from Burnley in the season. Yeah, definitely. I think because it had gone that that far, the game we were more defending at that time, and the breakaway yeah, came. Yeah. I think it was Lawrence who ended up playing. That was late on again, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. Felt like when he yeah. rounded the keeper, Nave took about twenty five minutes put it in the net. It was mad, I remember because... I'm not running really up there to celebrate with him, it's too far. The, the, the free <laughs> kick, it came from us like holding on throughout the full Defending, game more yeah. or less, playing well. And obviously they got that late free kick and you were thinking, nah, they, they might bag one here, they might nick a draw. Then obviously yeah. we go the other end and score. Ment that was you another mental night. you think about penalties at that stage? Yeah, I think in the back of your mind you're thinking, preparing yourself. Well, we were hoping we'd hang on for penalties at that time because we were under the cosh for a bit, I think. Yeah. You were asking to be subbed, weren't you, before penalties? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to do the Penenka and everything. But... <laughs> <laughs> and then, obviously, in the cup again after that was Brighton. And um, how did you feel about them? Because they were obviously a much better team than it. You know what? It's weird. I feel I, like we brushed them off. Like yeah, I, I, don't, know, yeah, I don't think anyone tried. was bothered about Brighton, which is weird. They were top of the jump, weren't they? Then at the time. That's uh -huh. what I mean, they got yeah. promoted. Well, they went up, didn't they? Because it was weirdly like there was no there was no pressure on us in any of the games. But obviously that game, we just went in thinking, well, 
whatever, we beat these like, what, what, yeah, whatever, we whatever, whatever the outcome is. Do you know what I mean? Because we did they, no pressure did at all. Did they go one nil up as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Al, Al scored that penalty. As soon as Alan scored that penalty, I knew we were game win. Yeah, I, I, it was a great I, celebration. I us against Brighton. Yeah. yeah, I'll tell you that is that is mate, but he's really not his mate. <laughs> yeah, he used, he used, really he used to go not. school with him and that. Alan Power used to like uh, message him on Twitter and he used to never reply. You're <laughs> 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 watching, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> I was like, he used to go school with him. Watch, I'll message him. Who scored no, it was Al, Al, Al Power. Own goal, Tamori. Own goal. Own goal, yeah. yeah. Tamori, yeah. Didn't Theo get one? Yeah, Theo got Theo, last one. Yeah. Yeah. It was mad because they started really well. I'm sure they smashed the ball as well. Just yeah, that's solid the March. Smacked them off. Yeah, yeah it's about 30 odd yards out, that though, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool, yeah, that really. But chip ski <laughs> from 30 yard ski. <laughs> Should have worn a cap, he could have threw some. Yeah. <laughs> and as you said, you, you backed it up the following Tuesday. Theo Gate was obviously what we were covering on the radio, but Jack, as we mentioned earlier on, you went and scored at, at Sully Hole. Well, and that was a great thing that the team did. I think after um, Burnley, you went to North Ferriby and won on the Tuesday as well. You yeah, that was Luke. That that was Luke, Luke got the other there, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big coward in there, yeah. yeah. That was so a you crazy game. Up your, result, your big results, didn't you? Yeah, I think that was the key, to be fair, because obviously we got confidence in these games playing the championship teams and stuff, but because we had so many games on Tuesdays and stuff, we had a good squad to rotate if we needed to. I don't think yeah. a few players got didn't play in the North Ferriby game, but we had players who could come in and do a job, which was really good. Yeah. It was just pure trust, wasn't it? Obviously, when you're changing the team around and that, you do think, oh, God, like you could think we might be at it tonight, but it was just pure trust in everyone and everyone yeah. knew. Everyone think- knew. Whoever I was playing knew knew what was going to be role, doing that yeah. Yeah, Anyone yeah. in the squad could do the job. Yeah, we had like well, how many players? Reckon we had that season, like twenty five, twenty four. Yeah, mm. we had quite, pretty much there. pretty much twenty two could definitely do the job in that yeah. league. And down. Like, Why? Who was the three that couldn't? I can't <laughs> think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my memory of Burnley away beforehand, we we stayed in the hotel with you. And that's how relaxed. I mean, you always were relaxed. You know, Some job you've got, aren't you? Across. Let's hotel. Yeah. 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 Any jobs going in our play? You're on business. I wish. Yeah, I'll be asking for a job in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you struck me as real, you know, it, it was just, it came across certainly. Might have been not in your heads, but you just, it, you were treating just like another game. Yeah, I think Dan said, just go and enjoy it. Like, obviously, we got so far, just go and enjoy so, sort of thing. Um, I think he said, didn't he, that they're a really good Premiership version of us. I, I think they only yeah. lost one. I think, yeah, I think they only lost one game. Chelsea the week season. before, I think. I think there was yeah, only two of their keepers that term that keep a clean sheet there as well. I think one was Czech and one was Fabianski, I think. <laughs> 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 and there was, there was a third one, but... No, but I think a lot of that, a, a lot of that game, we was we sort of wonder it. They had a few chances, to be fair, didn't they? We had one first minute. Didn't we had we? Yeah. Didn't they? Jack put it. No, it was Jack oh, Martin, no, dude. Dude. <laughs> Jack had one first half. He actually got a toe on it, didn't he? It bounced yeah. up, and I looked it over like. <laughs> Took no, a bobble, didn't it? To, to be fair, though, if I'd have scored that, I yeah, don't we'll probably, probably that yeah. we won that game. No, no, yeah, you're right. No, no, you're right. Yeah. No, definitely, yeah. I'll go. Because Joey Barton and Chris went to Reedy, didn't he? Huh? Joey Barton and Reedy are very close friends. Yeah. Hey, Tess, where are you going, by the way? Oh, yeah. By the side. He shoved you in the face, didn't he? <laughs> what did he yeah. Yeah, he smacked me in the face. <laughs> by the side, Jack, you coming? By the side. That was, but that, that was another game where, like, obviously, where we've said there was no pressure on us. But, like, when we actually started playing the game, like, we, we knew we were in and amongst them. Like, we were, we were getting chances. We were getting set pieces and that. And I don't remember being really tested besides... I think because um, we were so dominant, yeah. I think I had two shots, yeah. yeah. Two we shots in the first half. Yeah. And we just stuck to what we knew, try and press them and... Andre Gray had front. about nine or ten chances. He just ballooned them over the bar every time. Yeah. Yeah. Remember and that scramble think... where Thorne was jumping around like Pink Panther? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, remember, I, remember, I remember Luke saying, get back in your door. <laughs> <laughs> and then and obviously... Danny talked, the... to, Danny talked in the press about taking the game in, in sections to get through like 10 or 15 minutes. Is it something yeah. to use players? Yeah, we did that in training that week. Yeah. We did like little 15-minute yeah. sections. Like everything in training yeah. the week before was geared into the next game. 
So that, yeah, yeah, that was, every, that was quite every, good. That every was, every 15 minutes was like three points on it. Every yeah. 15 minutes was a win. See how many we could get. Yeah, yeah. Went on for about five hours. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. Were you, um, were you, before the goal went in, were you starting to think well, we've got a chance of a playoff here? Be honest. Yeah, we, I, we were, I think the best scenario would be taken back to our place. Mm, that, yeah, that was the one, yeah. wasn't it? Because I think even if we played Arsenal to our place, it wouldn't Sorry. have been 5 0, it would have been like 4, maybe 3. Mm. But we would have had a chance, like, you know what I mean? Because our crowd yeah. behind us was a massive positive. But taking Burnley back to, to Lincoln would have been brilliant. But then mm. obviously. Raggett gets his big cowhead on there, and we saw yeah. this. It, went, it went from coward to coward. <laughs> coward to cow. <laughs> then he said he done he he done the worst celebration in football. Just rolled on the ground, didn't he? Oh, he, just, just, he, was he, was he just pretended he, he just pretended he was on fire and just started rolling about. <laughs> hey, it's lucky that uh, ref had the one of them watches on. I don't think we'd have yeah, got yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I forgot oh, about that. Man. I would imagine as, a, as an atmosphere in a single moment playing football, it must be right up there. There's what, about 5,000 Lincoln fans right behind the goal? Yeah. Uh, especially yeah. after. After the, uh, like when it sank in and then obviously all their fans cleared off and obviously we had all them still behind the goal. That's when it actually sank yeah. in. Because when we won in that, obviously you're just going around shaking people's hands, asking for shirts. So it didn't really sink in until yeah. after. And were you aware that you'd, you'd suddenly become, you know, better known than just Lincolnshire? You were, you know, obviously Raggett ended up on front and back pages the following day. Were you aware of that level of interest? No, I don't think so at the time, to be fair. Mm. I think you're just looking towards the next game. And uh, yeah, I think just a few lads that mentioned that we had, I think it was Ferriby in the week. And uh, obviously it was a great win, but we, we want to get promotion, to be fair. That was the main thing. Mm. But this was just an added bonus, I think. Yeah, that was but, it. Right? Yeah, added what, bonus. What? What We're getting loads good. of free boots as well. What was quite <laughs> good about the FA Cup run, the FA Cup run took the pressure off of the league. Like, mm-hmm. it wasn't just with focus to be focused on the league at the time. Mm-hmm. So, it, it helped and it didn't help in a way with, like, mm-hmm. amount of, like, bodies because obviously yeah. it was taking its toll. Like, But luckily, we had, like, like we said again before, like, we had trust in players where we were changing the team around, we'd cope with it. Mm-hmm. How do you look back at the Arsenal game? No. To be honest, we, we won before we even played, didn't we? Like, if we're, yeah. if we're being honest, disappointed just... really because we thought that we could give them a game. <laughs> and, I think, and I think we did for 40, 45 minutes, was it, wherever. And then, yeah. second half, we might as well just pick the goalpost up and got it. As soon, as, soon, yeah. as, soon as they brought uh, Mezut on, nah. Yeah, I know. I've, I've seen nothing like it. Oxley Chamberlain went off, didn't he, after like 20 minutes? Was that right? Yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah. He mut- I think he muttered to Terry, actually. He said to Terry, yeah, he started stretching. Terry said, oh, you're right, blah, blah, blah. And he just said, nah, I'm injured. I'm going off. And we were thinking, who, who can they bring on here? Then obviously they brought, <laughs> they brought him on. It was, then he just, play, for, me, for, they, for me, he changed the game. Did they play Sutton, the one before? Yeah. They played all kids. So yeah, thinking, all kids. They play all kids. We've got a right chance. We obviously, we're a but remember at the time, you know. And um, they bring all the first Ren- Wenger out. was uh, Wenger was under pressure at the time. Yeah. yeah. They lost in the Champions League, didn't they, to Munich, was he? Yeah, and we, was and we didn't. Apart, it? And we didn't have a Scooby. What team they were going to play until like? I remember we sat in the change room just waiting about. Then I remember I think Luke Luke come back in first and Luke started laughing and I remember thinking because obviously the captains go off before the game, and Luke come back in laughing, and I was thinking what 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 I don't understand what he's laughing about. Yeah, he says oh, he's playing the full eleven, and obviously he was writing them on the board. Peter Check starting and all that. Mm. Then we just knew. Like Jack said, we, we had one before the game had even kicked off. Mm-hmm. I had to That's text forms in the changing room. It was that big. <laughs> Say, see, the, see the team forms? <laughs> yeah, send, him a, send him a message. You know, I was in the hot tub of the showers before the game. <laughs> Ice bath and that. Unbelievable. Was, what about after hot, when uh, they hot took hot us around the dressing room? Yeah, yeah, me to suck it. Yeah, because remember, we were, we, were stood out, we were stood outside like little kids in there. <laughs> I think their, their security guard was being... Security had, was being quite they funny. We had six with us. bodyguards. We had yeah. absolutely no. We had Jay McCoom stood there like. <laughs> we, and we said, "Oh, can you take this in to get signed?" And their security guard was like, "Nah, nah, I can't do that." And then uh, obviously, big Mertesack come out and just said, "Lads, come in." Then we were just going round, going round, getting all the all the gear signed and that. Then obviously, hey, who else was there? Pool, Perez won it. Perez yeah, was in there as well. Swimming pool thing, didn't they? 
Yeah. I remember him being in there and obviously I remember walking around and Terry's having a conversation with Sanchez about his dogs. <laughs> 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 I, I, I like your Labrador's on Instagram, yes? I'm, me and Sanchez go way back after that chat. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, I think, because who, who, who was my next game? I just remember that, that was... Was, I just remember was it Brain Tree? York. Oh, it was York, yeah. Brain yeah, exactly. Well, Gibbs, in Gibbs in there. Who is Jew? Gibbs and I think Walcott were asking about who were playing next game. Yeah. And I remember it was that. Yeah. There was, one, there, was one, oh, there was one Arsenal player that I thought was a bit. Ah, oh, Tez, man. His signal's terrible. Aaron, Aaron Ramsey. He didn't talk to no one. <laughs> nah. I just, I just remember him chopping me up on the line. Yeah, I, I, I stood back post. It was too sharp for me. <laughs> different level you were right after that game it was it was it was york and it was york, a trophy yeah. is that, yeah, is that still great to bet because obviously the decision for the goal at the central bank from what i can remember it shouldn't have been given the uh, got his hoof it, didn't he so he let yeah. it so i remember um i think dan was a bit unhappy that we played that game because it was so close i think it was a mm. couple of days after the arsenal game won it I no, because we played, them, we, played, we played them. We played them. Away. Away, yeah, away. We played them away. Yeah, we played them at York, and we lost. We lost Two. one nil. Yeah. Two. 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 You, you went ahead, I think, in the game initially. No, I, I, I didn't yeah. play. I didn't play that game. Then I remember playing the next game, and obviously the one that you were speaking yeah, about it? had the penalty. Mate, that, imagine, imagine, mate, if we went to Wembley as well. Yeah, that been so I think that happened. It was a perfect season, wasn't it? Yeah. Only if we'd won. True. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, Luke. <laughs> did that take what, what much of the wind out of your sails going out the trophy or did you manage to shrug it off pretty much? No, I think we just concentrate on the league. The league, yeah. Really. I think we kind of just all agreed league after the game. Right? Look, now, like, now we can just focus on going winning the league. like so. Yeah. And you're on eight of the next ten. Not bad. Anyway. After the trophy. Yeah. Hey, not bad, not bad. Slipped up. Who did we, who did we lose against? Uh, Borough. Borough. That was straight after the York game. Oh, God, yeah. And then you also drew against Sutton away at Sutton. They scored late on from memory. Oh, yeah. Their commentator got very excited. Yeah, two stinky <laughs> games. That. Because we could have we could have won. We more or less won the league, didn't it, if we scored it? Sutton. Yeah, Sutton, I remember that. We threw everything at him, didn't we? Yeah, and then we held to... Then I think I've kicked one. <laughs> Oh, Nave yeah. had a shot from about 60 yards, I think. The keeper has just banged it, then he broke on us and scored. Because I'm sure if we won that game, we would have went like yeah, three they points clear or something. Yeah. I remember that, yeah. And then away at uh, Eastley, wasn't it Sean who had his teeth rearranged at Eastley? Yeah, scored yeah, and then he scored the winner, didn't he? Yeah. He's, still got a blue, he's still got a Bluetooth now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a Nokia 3310, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> what a guy, man. What a guy. He scored and had his what? face knocked in. Oh, Super my God. Terrible. One of the most disgusting <laughs> things I've ever seen. Couldn't oh. shut his mouth for the rest of the game. And he was heading it and that. And he's just blood, just slime, just slaver, just... Oh. The root and everything was out. The oh, oh, mate. Oh. What's that, who's, that, who's that fellow off the Goonies? Um, hey, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking at that. <laughs> And then we mentioned the run a little earlier on. Great run, but um, probably the the really important game was Torquay at home, one nil down with about five to go, and then <laughs> two late goals. <laughs> Sorry, My Sorry yeah, yeah. can you mute him or what? <laughs> Jesus, that's the best thing he said. <laughs> uh, yeah, Torquay won it. That was for me. I think that was probably one of my favourite games. That or Gated. Yeah. That, I think, did Harry Anderson score the first against Torquay? I don't remember. Yeah. So, he followed it, it in. Yeah. Someone Keep had a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow, followed it in. And uh, then I remember we scored quite quick after. They were one nil up. Harry scored. Yeah. And I always remember Mazza, Mazza picking up the ball. Because I was thinking at the time, oh, we're playing terrible. Like, terrible. I was thinking, oh, we'll, yeah, we'll take a the point. Then Mazza... Uh, ran and got the ball and put it put it back on the stop. And we were thinking, oh my god, what's he doing? Anyway, obviously the I think we just pressed them from then. I think obviously we got that free kick. Yeah. Did you ever remember uh, the video afterwards of the fan who fell over the 
advertising hoarding and he's trying to celebrate with you and went face yeah. I think we did see it, innit? I think we I think because we watched that game after in training the next day and obviously yeah. we got that edit and seen that. That was it though, didn't we? We used to put we used to put a shift in watching uh, watching the games back and watching the teams that we were about to play, didn't we? We must have done about three or four hours a week, didn't we? Easy. Easy. Uh, best thing was my he used to say to me, have you watched your video? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, he knew I hadn't because he got here, uh, the oh, tech dear. guys. Mr. Bean run through me and rags on this. Oh, I missed it. Sorry, I must have been getting a bit. Oh, I watched it. Fish points on and then go have a brew or go watch a or something. <laughs> the, amount, the, amount, the amount of hours we did in there, the amount of oh. coffees that we drank, man. That's, that's the difference, I think. Have a coffee, have a water. Yeah, have a coffee, have a water. Don't gulp that sip. That <laughs> Good times. And Gates said away, were you always going to take the pen towards the end, Matt? Uh, I'm not yes. really sure about that. <laughs> uh, don't know, I looked around. I didn't think anybody else would wanted it. I don't know what happened before then. Did, what, did Alan take him before then? I don't know. He took him in the FA Cup. No, Al, 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 Al wasn't playing that game. That was. was. He was I remember, like, I think. It was, it was a cross came in, wanted it from Longy and Jim. Uh, yeah. Jammer and board it, and then it was like everyone looking around. I think Billy Knott was looking around for Gary's, and I just grabbed it anyway. I actually yeah. watched it back the other week, and the keeper wasn't far off it to be fair. He went really, yeah. Early. Nah. I didn't watch, I, that's the, I, I, I turned me back on it when you took it. To be fair, I couldn't watch it. And then, best. and then Nathan scored a worldie. And I, I remember talking to him a couple of months ago, well, about a year ago, and he, Matt, and he said, like you've always said. As a team, you played so badly that day, and yet you managed to get all three points. That was another one. Like that was another thing. That was another thing we worked on in in the training. I know it sounds so simple: free kick, find Reedy, then getting on yeah. the seconds around the around the uh, penalty spot. The thing is, because he was again. so effective, we could just keep doing it every, like again and again, can't we? Like, and that, that's, that's, like, that was another game if, we were terrible. Even if we, we didn't win it, he four, they worked out where the ball had roughly fallen in a square. Like they had it up on the tally and everything. So yeah, everyone, so it, it started off with hitting the ball straight down the middle of the pitch and obviously yeah. really freaking on and then all of a sudden he, he tweaked it to 10 yards to the right or 10 yards yeah. to the left and it started working didn't it? The keeper's got Bye, a kick two, there as well two. though isn't it? It's not easy <laughs> hey. What, kicking a ball in an area? <laughs> <laughs> it's not what they do for a living is it? Hey, that's, the that's difference was Fawns used to kick it from the corner flag <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had to assist in some of our wingers that year <laughs> uh, that's, and then the winner, the, obviously, the, I know there's two games afterwards, but the the, the, um, the Macclesfield game, is he still, is Terry still in, or is he gone? No, nah, he's gone. He's, he's gone. gone, but I mean, obviously it was his day, wasn't it? I mean, he's got the two goals. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Good, good two finishes from him. To, to, be, to be fair, to they, they, they had a few chances, didn't they? What was that header that just went over last minute? Yeah. Oh, my God. No, that went in, that. That went in, I think it came out the net. Did someone volley it from about 18 yards out? Oh, that was yeah, the other one. saved it, didn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah, a few cameras there, that though, aren't there? <laughs> I've still got tennis elbow off that bad boy, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Landed on the right. path, but yeah, that was but just, like, yeah. another Great thing goals. that was just meant to be. That mm. obviously, and obviously Terry scoring like two very good goals. I think the first one was a follow up. Yeah, from the then, angle, yeah. Then the second one, he just he had no right in scoring, and somehow he's. The I don't know how. Like, he's to say, Matt Terry can Sorry. Go on. No, you've got me. Oh, cheers, mate. Eh? <laughs> we used to say Terry all the time, like, in training, because he used to score all the time, find, like, little gaps to stick the ball in the goal. And then, like, he mm -hmm. didn't used to replicate it on the pitch. And then all of a sudden, like, the last three or four months, uh, obviously the Macclesfield game, he's, he's like, he's, he's stepped up and done wonders, like, so. Tight angle as well, wasn't it straight across oh, the Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I don't it's know many like, How's it gone in? Yeah. I, I don't technical. understand. It's got well, a ledge technical. Technical. Yeah. Well, what, what, and what obviously a great I mean there's lots of social media of most of you celebrating around the city uh, that night it must have been a good laugh with the fans wasn't it probably the best night out I've had in Lincoln that you've only been out once and I've had a few Miss <laughs> <laughs> Foggy yeah we just get it was mine it was I think it would get like okay at one time I got carried from a, a bar on someone's shoulders to another bar <laughs> no idea who he was. I remember. Mad thing, of... mad thing was, we we're just getting past Jaeger bombs on the street. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Oh, that someone's way. shoulders just getting Jaeger. What was the night? Them went one of the nightclubs, walked into the middle floor, me and Luke, and just put it like Luke's song <laughs> or my song. The whole place was just drinks everywhere. <laughs> um, that was home. Crazy. I think it was the dance floor. 
Is it? Yeah, mad. That's what I mean. It was. It was unbelievable. It was like, you were, we were like, I, I. To be fair, I remember half an hour of it. I mean, I was. We were in the bar, weren't we? Because we went around the bar after the game, yeah. and um, I think we kind of just bullied. I think we kind of just bullied Ian McCallum and uh, Beatty just to open up the bar, and everyone was just grabbing what they could. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Out of quality. And then obviously we went to Benidorm, didn't we? About yeah, we saw it out after the game, didn't we? We went to speak to uh, Kevin. The thing is, we had like a pot, didn't we? And we were like, right, obviously all the uh, all the posh boys were thinking, let's go Marbella and stuff. Obviously all the drinkers <laughs> were just going, let's go Benidorm. So the vote was Benidorm, wasn't it? Benidorm, yeah. First class on easy, Jeff. What, what a weekend that was. The thing that really comes across talking to you guys, and I've been lucky enough in the last month or two, to talk to other successful Lincoln players in different teams that are before you. And they always talk about the um, having like a camaraderie amongst the players that they've not really matched at other clubs when they've had that success. Was that the same for you? Was there a, a real closeness amongst the players that year? Yeah, I'd say... It was a belt, a change of room on it. What a change I'd say about had. 80% of us were all proper close friends, aren't we? Like? That's what you Definitely. thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we weren't. No, nah, I've, I've always said when any, anyone asks about that season, I just say like the dressing, the dressing room made it. Mate, what about when we used to play cricket before the games and stuff? And, oh. Cricket, the ball game. Oh, there's the ball still a game. Vi- there's a vi- there's a video floating about in it, someone uh, getting out on cricket. That that was it season, you went, it was Luke who ran after it and slipped it before the game, mate. Oh fine. god, man, no. <laughs> so, I mean, before like involved, but... before games, I think it was even like before Brighton that were playing ball game but that was like yeah, yeah, yeah. by some managers up. by some managers that might have been a bit frowned upon as if to be like oh he's on taking it serious but they willed it he just yeah. wanted it to be as relaxed as possible and I think it was a quite an easy rule but if you touch the ball if you were the last person to touch touch the ball before the manager come in you had to pay money into the players fines I think it was like 20 <laughs> quid Pathetic, yeah, as, soon but... as, as soon as Cal used to walk out his, dress, his, his room you used to go right in, and then as soon as you hear his voice, that was it. Walls flying everywhere. Getting <laughs> oh, man. by a Jacko, like. Got pretty serious. And Jack, you kind of hinted at it, but what was it like by the end of the season playing at Sinsel Bank? It was a completely different place to the probably the first time you all played at the ground, you know, with capacity crowds. And, and I think there was a special connection that year between the players and the, and the fans as well. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think fans, yeah, fans I looked say. like they enjoyed it, didn't they? Mm. <laughs> 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 like they enjoyed the football winning nah you just felt like you'd, you'd, you'd sort of like reached a point where we were just like this is this is what we wanted in the first place this is what we set out to do and obviously at the end of that season you just look back and you just think wow what a, what a season like that. and I should ask all of you where, where you about to are now in terms of you, how you are and with your careers and everything the fans will want to know if I start with you first perhaps Jack um, you know what, how's things with you you know what are the what are what your prospects in terms of playing for next season? Um, just signed, I oh, signed obviously a two year deal with Harrogate, so I'll be there for the next few years. Um, but obviously, uh, no one really knows what's going on like, down there, do they? So you're just going to have oh. to be patient and wait, like, aren't we? But obviously, the club club's in a good position at the moment, so we're, uh, we're open points per game, really. One of the best wingers in the league or something, anyway. Something like that, even though I'm a number nine. Ah, so you've been playing out wide, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> On that left yeah, flank coming in. <laughs> yeah, but he's not the best striker, so we'll pretend he's a winger. <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes yeah. in, well, about, ten minutes in. Yourself, you've had a, I think you've had a good, from what I've seen in the, the reporting, you've had a, a good season personally, but as a, as a club, it's not gone too well for Steve Lynch. Um, it's, uh, it's been been a really frustrating year to be fair but it's just a shame we've had we've got good lads in there and it's just when you when your luck's not in and we were losing so many games and losing so many games late on when we've held on played well all game then um we, we've conceded and it's, it has the best the best way to put it is being frustrating but mm. we thought we thought we were going to turn it around at one point obviously with Mac um, Mac have been deducted some more points, haven't they? So we're three points off Mac at the minute with a game in hand. And I think, obviously, I, I don't know, it could be here to say a rumour. I think Mac are apparently going to get some more points deducted, I'm not sure about. So if they ended the season where we are now, it would be pretty frustrating because it would be in our hands 
to to, mm-hmm. to get us out of it. And I think it's a bit unfair to. Well, it's tough, and I think if you promote teams, if you're giving teams in the promotion a chance to gain promotion, then why can't you give teams a chance to get out of a relegation mm-hmm. fight? Mm-hmm. But it's if if I was at the top in a top team, I maybe I might be saying different. But in a, in another thing that I'm, I think obviously last last pay, I'm out of contract, so soon. Mm. I, God knows what's going to happen. I think the top teams should be getting rewarded. I don't know why. It feels like if, let's say you stay up, yeah, fam. Let's yeah. say you stay up. I think it feels like you'd be rewarded for, for losing the league, which is like, I think it should be promotion and relegation, if I'm honest. Yeah, it's just a thing that I feel like if yeah, we I don't get it. it. Yeah, That's 36 like, games or whatever, and you sort it out. So yeah, you say we played we played 80 percent of the season, haven't we? It's not like we played 15 games and it's come to a stop because of COVID, but we've actually played 80. percent I think you know where you are once you play that many games. Mm, no, we haven't, we, have, we haven't we haven't we we haven't played well enough to to be out of it at the minute. But it's just a frustrating thing at the thought yeah. of that, where yeah. especially how it is when you look at the table now to think. Imagine if we've done the great. Like, you know what I mean? Imagine if we've done the great, the great well, sure come down here. So and we're just as, as to finish on me, like we're just waiting as players to hear the retained list when we know what's happening with the league, basically. Uh, and, and Matt, what about yourself? It was it frustrating not have a chance to say a proper goodbye first of all to the to the Lincoln fans. I know a lot of the Lincoln fans feel that you sort of suddenly disappeared from the club and they didn't get a proper chance to say goodbye. Yeah, definitely. I think it's all happened uh, too, too quick. To be fair, bit of a rush decision. But it, it it was where it was, and you bit, you make mistakes in life, but you get on with it, don't you? And move on. Um, you see them have hand signs and couldn't move quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, the, the, you're 76, the club, you just take the money, don't you? <laughs> the first of the, the clubs, uh, Bitterecki, a uh, different sort of experience to Lincoln. Yeah, horrific. <laughs> oh, and, Boreham, and then obviously <laughs> Boreham, where's the situation there? Yes. Superb. I went for 10 weeks, I think it was. Really enjoyed it. Uh, set up superb. I think Arsenal, when you play there, I mean, it all looked to be in the right direction. Signed a new contract for next year, but I'm, obviously, I don't know what's going to be happening. I like that, Jared. Uh, going forward. Is he yeah. still gaffer there, that Jared? 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 Oh, yeah. Jared. Yeah, he's good. Very good. <laughs> Jaffa good Kick Samson, I, gosh, I was way off. I just thought <laughs> then... Um, what does it feel like to be part of such a historic team for, for Lincoln City? You'll be forever talked about as one of the, the teams and one of these seasons for the football club. Whatever happens in your career, that's always going to be there for you. Does that mean a, a lot to you guys? We're still waiting for the statues to be built, Michael. <laughs> I'll sort that out. <laughs> well, need that, to it's, you know, it's, great, it's great to be part of it. It's just like when you put in all that hard work and it pays off. It's just that's what I thought when you put in all that hard work and hours, and then you get the reward at the end of the season. I don't Our think contracts are different. We actually have to turn up to training every week. I don't think we could have dreamed. We were training on like rubbish pitches and stuff. We couldn't have dreamed of the season we had. Just shows the, how resilient the lads were. We were training on like schools, colleges, barracks, and Some uh, horrific fair, training facilities. Aren't they? We still love playing away, stopping away because we played on, uh, trained on like Bristol City uh, and oh, got, uh, Arsenal. Arsenal after the game. West Ham. Yeah, Batman. we turned we turn on Bristol City's pitch, and I remember. Yeah, it's mad. So it, was, it just shows what a great squad we had, uh, and we didn't ever make no excuses either. Like we could have just said, "Oh, we 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 train mm. on rubbish pitches. We we don't deserve win the league." But uh, we got on with it. Yeah. Really, 